likes me a lot, I'm gonna just sit there and give you the grandma. Just to see if you really- Today, I will be reacting to a video of a woman giving advice to men about women that every man should know. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video, but first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women. It just feels like it. Okay, today we're gonna to be reacting to a video of a girl who's a who is a dancer in a gentleman's club. She's gonna be giving the ultimate advice that I feel every man should know. But before I play the video, I just want every man to understand the mindset of a girl that works in a gentleman's club. Now, these are what I will call the smartest women when it comes to men. And the reason why I say that is because they come across every type of man and they get the same reactions because those guys are going to the same place to get the same reaction. So those girls start to believe that they understand men faster. Which is why a lot of those girls usually end up dating other girls due to the fact that they have manipulation down to a science, but only for the type of guys that go to those clubs. When it comes to a smart man, these type of girls typically cannot get close to a smart man because a smart man doesn't think the same way as the desperate man does. But a girl like this learns everything so fast because she's in survival mode, all right? When a person is in survival mode, that means they're willing to do anything to survive and they need to get money. So when you start seeing people rob, steal, sell themselves, that means that typically they are in survival mode when they're willing to risk it all just to stay alive. The difference between a man and a woman, a man can be in survival mode. But once he starts to get a little bit of money, he starts to level back out his sanity and he starts to think logical again, which is why like a lot of drug dealers and rappers, when they get money, they're typically not the same person as they was when they was in survival mode and their real personality comes out. But when it comes to a woman, the moment she goes into survival mode, she typically stays there for the rest of her life, regardless of how much money she gets. I always tell guys, pay attention to Ginger in Casino. That's the world that we're living in. But for the video we're about to react to, this is a female. She's been around the block. She belongs to the streets. But I'm gonna really need you guys to really pay attention to her. Let's get started. Niggas gotta realize that the first time a girl you is based on how much you ignore her first damn time. You text me a lot. I'm gonna just sit there and give you the grandma just to see if you really with me. You know what I'm saying? But if you ignoring the shit out of me, I'm like, oh, I'm about to his life up. Nigga, what? Oh, this for that time he fucking didn't want to pick up. Oh, swallow them balls. <laughs> Take it in the butt. I'm going to in on the nigga who fucking ignores me. Like, so I'm just giving y'all niggas and some bitches advice. Okay, I hope you guys paid attention to that. This is why it's very crucial for you not to chase her. To keep you from chasing a woman, you must be distracted with your dreams and purpose. That must become the most important thing in your life. The hardest thing it is for you guys to do is to ignore a woman that you are attracted to, but you have to understand that's the downfall to everything. That's the downfall to your purpose. That's the downfall to your life. There are more men that are miserable and life is just going, going different ways for them because of a woman. But most men that are on their purpose, they have it a hard time giving their heart to a woman. Look at people like Leonardo DiCaprio, Prince, people like that. They love being introverts and they love not getting married. Nowadays, people aren't getting married. So I guess it's working in your favor. But out here, these women, if you want to control them, you must first start showing that they're nothing to you. 
you must start off by ignoring them. The more you ignore them, the more they're going to pay attention to you. A wise man used to tell me, the slower you move, the faster she will. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you was able to get the message. Comment, like, subscribe. Hasta la vista. Today we're going to be talking about why she does not have any respect for the blue collared men. All right. The reason why a woman doesn't have respect for a blue collar man is because a woman is working a blue collar job herself. Majority of these so-called feminist strong women, I don't need a man women, are working blue collar jobs. Not a lot of them are working red pill jobs where they're getting government jobs with set pensions and salaries. You don't have too much of that happening. You do have it, but it's a small amount versus the blue collar women that are working labor ready jobs like post offices, FedEx, UPS, um, regular stores, things that do, that do not require a education is where a lot of women are seeing their success nowadays. But when a woman sees a man as an equal, she has no respect for him. If you take Sally that works at McDonald's and she starts flirting with Fred on the fries, but let a guy come through the drive-thru that don't work that look like he's doing better than Fred on the fries, she's gonna show him more attention than Fred on the fries. Why? Because Fred on the fries is her equal. Men are never quite dominating a woman when she's equal to him. So a man has to always be above a woman because what a woman is doing is, a woman will work a job making 30,000 a year but she's gonna portray the image as if she's making 70,000 a year, hoping she can land a man that makes 120,000 a year. That's what a woman is trying to do. When it comes to the blue collar guy, the blue collar guy don't show any, let me see. He doesn't show, he doesn't have that charisma in him. He doesn't show signs that he's a risk taker, that he's ambitious, that he's exciting. That's one of the things about a blue collar guy. Typically these guys are just looking to have a family and work a nine to five at a regular job and spend their time going to church on Sunday. Nowadays, women are doing the same thing as a blue collar guy that it doesn't turn them on. They're constantly seeking new excitement. For one, they feel like they don't need a man. So they're not gonna respect a man that's looking to be in a job for a long period of time. They're looking for a man that has more resources. Not too many blue collar men have resources. It's because they're constantly working for the long term. The guys that have resources are mainly the ones that have taken a risk towards a business or men that have taken a risk towards their education and getting a higher paid job. So when women start working these blue collar jobs, she's fully aware that the the path that a blue collar man can go is very limited to the options that he creates for himself because she's in the same position as him because she is working the same job as the blue collar man. Women are always aiming for higher levels than her. This is why your average Joe can have a girl out the hood, but he got to wine and dine her, spend money, take her out to eat. But she can go to a concert, meet Drake, and he'll have her having sex within five minutes because she places him on a higher value. Now, men need to understand that you need to present this image by doing less with her. See, the more red pill knowledge you gain, the more you're going to realize less is more with a woman. Whether you got a blue pill job or a red pill job, if you don't say anything to her, and allow her to figure you out, she's gonna automatically make you superior than her. Once you place, once she places you in a high superiority category, then she'll be ready to submit to you no matter what because she's gonna think you're on a higher level and that you're not her equal. The only way she's gonna think that you're her equal is based off the way that you treat her. So as long as these blue pill guys that work at her job are doing the same thing, you may be able to flirt with her when she gets bored or do things like that but a man with a better paying job is going to always override him because women don't respect men that are on the same level as them they just give him a level of respect for a bit of working man but they never look at him as being superior and this is why they don't like blue collar men it's because they feel like they're on the same level as them because they're working the same jobs as them all 
All right. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you got the message behind this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Hasta la vista.